Peter Shergold and I head up the Centre for Social Impact, which is a collaboration between three universities, Melbourne and Swinburne, and its headquarters is based in the Australian School of Business at the University of New South Wales. We are a centre that looks at the social economy, looking at the role of not-for-profit organisations and of corporate social responsibility, of philanthropy and social investment and social innovation. So when I come to look at the global financial crisis, there are two key issues which concern me. The first is, what's going to be the impact of this crisis and the economic recession that is resulting on the ability of not-for-profit organisations and other social, social ventures to do their business? It won't surprise you to find that it is likely that the resources available to those not-for-profit organisations is probably going to decline. And that is a problem, of course, because this is the very point at which the demand for their services, particularly in the area of social welfare, is actually going to be increasing. Now understand this, not-for-profit organisations always have ambitions that outstrip their resources. But at a time of economic downturn, when the demands on them are increasing, we have a problem when the resources available to them are likely to shrink, and they are. It isn't just that individual donors may give less, although of course many of them are high net worth individuals who have seen their wealth significantly shrink over the last six to nine months. It is that the money they have invested will be getting lower dividends and lower interest rates. It is that the large corporate and philanthropic foundations will see their corpuses shrink and therefore how much they can give to the not-for-profits a decline. And of course businesses themselves will be tightening their belts. It's unclear just how significant this impact is going to be. The best long-term study was done in the United States looking at philanthropy over a 40-year period. What it suggests is that over that 40 years, in real terms, philanthropic giving increased at about 3% a year. But in years of recession, there was a decline of about 0.7%. And here's the key. In years in which there were at least eight months of reduced economic growth, of negative economic growth, the reduction in funding was 2.7%. In other words, a 6% difference between an average year and a bad year. Now, there are two problems with that information. First of all, it is from the United States where there is a much greater tradition of philanthropic giving. The second is that if you're looking at an economic downturn, as we may be, that lasts a year or two years or even perhaps five years, it may well be that the decline in philanthropic giving is greater than the figures suggest. The second question, from my point of view, is what's going to be the impact of this financial crisis and economic downturn on corporates, and particularly in their commitment to corporate social responsibility? Now, corporate social responsibility covers a very diverse and wide range of activities. These are the activities that go beyond the economic goals of the organisation to look at the social and environmental goals. They cover everything from giving financial support and volunteer support to community-based organisations, reducing emissions, looking after environmental resources better, supporting the arts and so on. Increasingly, it involves looking at human rights and fair labour standards and product safety, not just at the first tier level, but right along the supply chain. Often this used to be called triple bottom line reporting. Increasingly, the large businesses present corporate social responsibility reports or corporate sustainability or corporate citizenship reports. A wide range of activities. Now, will they carry on when businesses are facing layoffs, shrinking profits, declining shareholder value. There are two 
schools of thought on this at the moment, and they're locking horns. There are, if you will, um, the, 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 the pessimists, the, uh, the detractors, who say, well, look, corporate social responsibility was just a fig leaf anyway. It was a public relations exercise. It was a greenwashing of activities, a launch, a logo, and a lunch. And it's not surprising that while it could be sustained when the economic times were good, in a time of downturn, it will simply be sacrificed. Then there is the other school of thought who are the optimists, the uh, supporters, who say, no, no, corporate social responsibility is a part of what business does and it will want to sustain it now more than ever. You don't want to risk your reputation by cutting back on these activities. Now, when governments are looking to regulate more the business sector, it would be foolish to give up on the hopes and aspirations of corporate social responsibility. There seem to me to be a couple of interwoven questions here. The first is, you know, to what extent is corporate social responsibility really built in to business strategy? And the second question is, can it then be sustained if there is a significant and deep economic downturn? Well, if you look at this range of activities, and they are diverse, it seems to me there are probably three things that underlie them all. One is reputation and reputational advantage. The second is corporate sustainability in the long term. And the third is transparency. Now, if you look at those three values, what we see, of course, when we look at the causes of the global financial crisis, is behaviours which actually undermine all those three values. You see behaviours which were decidedly short-term in their nature and in their impact. Everything from the super profits that were being made to the incentives which were being given in the forms of bonuses. They were enormously damaging to reputation. And the third thing we've seen is that the financial instruments being used, particularly um, the derivatives were highly complex and opaque. In other words, the very three things that CSR is meant to do, bring good reputation, long-term sustainability and transparency, were actually missing from the business of many businesses leading up into the great financial crisis, the global financial crisis. We all then CSR now just disappear. I am cautiously optimistic uh, that it won't disappear. What has to happen, I think, is that corporate responsibility needs to make itself over it. It needs, if you will, a, a CSR 2.0. It needs a corporate social responsibility in which the internal behaviours and ethics and values of corporate enterprise reflect the externally focused values and ethics of the corporate enterprise. My guess is there are four things that the public desperately wants at the moment from business, and three of them sit in the area of corporate social responsibility. Of course, they want profitability. Of course they want profitability. But I suspect they also want good behaviour through reputation. I think they want to see businesses in which they've invested being sustainable in the long run. And they certainly want greater transparency, answerability and accountability. Three out of four ain't bad. And that's why I think that corporate social responsibility will survive this economic downturn and indeed is central to the responses of business to the downturn.